What are stable coins in crypto? Investing might be fun, but Bitcoin's value has dropped by more than half in just a few months. Not everyone is up for such a risk. This is where stable coins come in. Stable coins are a type of cryptocurrency that uses similar technology to existing cryptocurrencies, but they are backed by real world assets, making them less susceptible to big price fluctuations than their more volatile counterparts. But what are stable coins and why do people buy them? These are questions we'll be answering in today's video. Let's dive right in. What are stable coins? A stable coin is a cryptocurrency whose value is tied to another asset, most often a currency like the US dollar or the euro, but other assets can be used. This type of crypto coin monitors the underlying asset, ensuring that its value remains steady over time, at least in comparison to the currency to which it is linked. In effect, it's as if the underlying asset, such as the digital dollar, has gone electronic. Stable coins are frequently backed by the assets they're linked to, as their objective is to monitor an asset. For example, when a stable coin is issued, the issuing body usually establishes a reserve with a financial institution that maintains the underlying asset. A stable coin, for example, may have a $100 million reserve and produce 100 million coins at a constant value of $1 each. If the owner of the stable coin wishes to pay it out, the actual money can be retrieved from the reserve. This structure contrasts with the fact that most cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, are backed by nothing. Unlike stable coins, the price of these other cryptocurrencies vary significantly as speculators trade for profit. Some stable coins are backed by tangible assets, whereas others aren't. These, on the other hand, utilize technological techniques such as deleting some of the coin supply to generate scarcity to keep the crypto coin's price stable. Algorithmic stable coins are what they're called. Why are stable coins popular in crypto trading? Stable coins address one of the fundamental issues with many prominent cryptocurrencies. Their extreme volatility makes it difficult, if not impossible, to utilize them for real world transactions. Because digital currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are so volatile, it's impossible to price items in their terms. By tying their value to a known reserve currency, stablecoins sidestep this problem. Furthermore, because of their stability, many stablecoins may be utilized as a functioning currency in a crypto brokerage. Traders may, for example, convert Bitcoin into a stablecoin like Tether rather than dollars. Stable coins are accessible 24 hours a day, seven days a week, making them more convenient than currencies received through the banking system, which is closed overnight and on weekends. Smart contracts, which are a type of electronic contract that is automatically executed when its terms are met, may also be utilized by stable coins. The digital currency's steadiness also helps to avoid conflicts that might develop when dealing with more volatile cryptocurrencies. What are some of the most popular stablecoins? Stablecoins don't garner nearly as much attention or hype as other cryptocurrencies because they don't provide the same get-rich-quick possibility. However, as of October 2021, a few cryptocurrencies are amongst the most popular by market capitalization. Tether, USDT, $68 billion. USD Coin, USDC, $33 billion. Terra USD, UST, $3 billion. Of course, these coins are little compared to the major cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, which has a market capitalization of about $1.1 trillion, and Ethereum, which has a market capitalization over $400 billion. What are the risks of stable coins? Stable coins may appear to be low risk at first look. They are in comparison to popular cryptocurrencies, which are not backed by anything. Stablecoins, on the other hand, comes with a certain standard crypto dangers, as well as at least one unique risk. Security. Stablecoins, like other cryptocurrencies, might be stored someplace, whether it's in your digital wallet or with a broker or exchange. This is a danger, since a trading platform may not be secure enough or have flaws. Counterparty risk. While cryptocurrency appears to be very decentralized, transactions involve numerous parties, including the bank holding the reserve and the institution producing the stablecoin. For the currency to sustain its value, it must be doing the correct things, security, adequate reserving, and so on. Reserve risk. The reserves that underpin a stablecoin are an important part of the ecosystem. 
Those reserves act as the last line of defence for a stable coin's value. Without them, the coin issuer cannot confidently guarantee the value of the stable coin. The main danger with stable coins is that they aren't truly supported by the reserve currencies that they claim to be backed by. The issuer of the stable coin should, in an ideal circumstance, have sufficient currency reserves in cash or other highly liquid secure investments to completely sustain the stable coin. Risk is introduced if the percentage is less than 100%. Why do people use stable coins? Stable coins are appealing because they are designed to survive volatility in a manner that other cryptocurrencies are not, while still maintaining mobility and accessibility. Other benefits of a more stable cryptocurrency that is decentralised or not subject to the rules and regulations of a centralised system include faster money transfers, access to financial services without the use of applications, the privacy of financial data and the avoidance of financial service fees. Stable coins with a centralised backing offer a digital choice with the security of a conventional currency. Stable coins may not be the best investment option because they are designed to maintain their values consistently rather than rise in value. For example, during its history, the US dollar coin has scarcely deviated from its $1 value. Meanwhile, Bitcoin was trading at $4,000 at the start of 2019, but in May 2021, it has risen to nearly $60,000. Instead of being a speculative investor, stablecoins might be utilised as a type of digital currency. Where can I buy stablecoins? To buy stablecoins, you'll need a crypto exchange account or a digital wallet that allows you to buy crypto directly. Some services may not be accessible in all areas, so double check to see whether the service you want are available where you reside. Some stablecoins may be listed on centralised exchanges, like Coinbase, although these centralised exchanges may only list fiat-backed versions. You may utilise a decentralised exchange to trade any currency token for most stablecoins for more alternatives. Should you buy stablecoins? I must first issue a disclaimer before answering this question. This is not financial advice because I am not a financial consultant. This is my own opinion, not financial advice. Before investing in any of the various cryptocurrencies available, please conduct your research and due diligence. This is created to help you easily understand the topic with our animated explanations. Stablecoins are still employing younger technology, even though they are safer than other types of crypto. If you're intending to invest your assets in crypto in the hopes of making millions, you're taking a risk, especially when stablecoins are designed to stay stable. Instead, if you're interested in stablecoins, consider putting some fun money away after you've built up your savings and paid for basic needs, in addition to building a well-diversified portfolio. Individual equities might fill that need with less risk than crypto, if you're willing to add some riskier assets to your portfolio.